Have you ever pondered over the fate of our celestial sentinel, the sun? Does it, like other stars, face an inevitable death? And what might happen to our humble abode, Earth, and its celestial siblings when the sun reaches the twilight of its existence? The story of the sun, like all stars, begins in a nebula, a vast cold cloud of gas and dust. Over millions of years, the force of gravity pulls this gas and dust together, creating a dense core known as a protostar. The Sun, our star, was born from such a cosmic cradle about four and a half billion years ago. As the protostar continued to collapse under its own gravity, the pressure and temperature at its heart increased. When the core temperature reached a blistering 10 million degrees, nuclear fusion ignited and the Sun began to shine. This phase, known as the main sequence, is the longest period in a star's life, and it's where our Sun currently resides. During this phase, the Sun, like other stars, is in a state of hydrostatic equilibrium. The outward pressure of the energy produced by nuclear fusion in the core balances the force of gravity pulling everything inward. This delicate balance allows the Sun to shine so consistently, providing the light and warmth necessary for life on Earth. However, this phase won't last forever. In about five billion years, the Sun will exhaust its hydrogen fuel. As the core collapses, the outer layers will expand and our Sun will evolve into a red giant. This phase will mark the beginning of the end for our star. The Sun's outer layers will expand beyond the orbits of Mercury, Venus and possibly even Earth. The intense heat and radiation from the red giant Sun may make Earth uninhabitable. After the red giant phase, the Sun will shed its outer layers, creating a beautiful cosmic spectacle known as a planetary nebula. What remains will be the hot, dense core of the Sun, now a white dwarf, slowly cooling over billions of years. The Sun's evolution will dramatically alter the conditions of the other planets in the solar system. Mercury and Venus will likely be engulfed when the Sun becomes a red giant. The outer planets, meanwhile, will experience a warmer climate as the Sun expands. In the end, the Sun's death will bring about a new era in the solar system. It's a reminder of the grand cycles of birth and death that govern not just our lives, but the cosmos itself. In this cosmic dance of life and death, the Sun plays a pivotal role. It's a testament to the beauty and complexity of the universe we inhabit. From birth in a nebula to its twilight as a white dwarf, the sun's journey is a testament to the awe-inspiring processes that shape our universe. So, next time you feel the sun's warmth on your skin or gaze upon its brilliance in the sky, remember it's not just a star, it's a cosmic story of birth, life and eventual death. A story that is still unfolding and one we're all a part of. As the sun's life comes to an end, it leaves behind a legacy that will continue to shape the cosmos. The sun's white dwarf will cool and fade over billions of years, eventually becoming a black dwarf. This is a quiet and gradual process, a stark contrast to the fiery passion of its youth. However, the sun's death will not be the end, but a new beginning. The matter it once held will be recycled into new stars, planets and possibly life. This is the cosmic recycling program on a grand scale. The cosmos wastes nothing, not even the remnants of a star. The sun's journey from birth to death is a testament to the life cycles that govern the universe. It's a cosmic ballet, a dance of energy and matter, choreographed by the laws of physics. From gas and dust, a star is born. It lives, changes and eventually dies, only to give birth to something new. So as we bid farewell to our sun, we can take comfort in the knowledge that its demise is not an end, but a new beginning in the cosmic cycle of life. The Sun's story may be coming to a close, but its legacy will continue to shape the cosmos for billions of years to come.